Greetings from New Jerusalem Triple Seven. Um, I just wanted to let you know that you know I've been a little busy lately. I'm getting ready to go back to school this summer, you know, college, and pursue my bachelor's degree in business administration. And you know, I'll be pretty busy coming up. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about something that's really been on my mind for quite some time, and it's regarding about um, some some fighting that's been going on, and you know that that's really a problem to me between Christians. And it's regarding uh, versions, Bible versions, okay? Like you have uh, two sides or uh, two factions against each other. Like one faction is the King James only crowd and the other faction group is the non-King James crowd, okay? And, you know, of course, I would like to tell you the truth that, yes, I do read the King James Bible. I happen to have one. And I, I do study out of it the most. But however, um, sometimes, you know, like when I go and do like reference studies online and, and studies from my reference materials, they have scriptures that are taken out of some of the other versions. And that's done by default as well, okay? So, I mean, this, it's not really a big deal as long as I know the truth, as long as I know the essentials of the Bible, okay? That, that, that's what matters the most. But um, it seems to me that I'll, I'll, I just see this fighting going on and on, back and forth about who's right about the King, who's right about the Bible, or which Bible version is the inspired Word of God, and, and which Bible is the inerrant Word of God, and all this stuff, okay? And I have to come and I have to say this, because I'm in the middle, kind of, not, I'm not on anybody's side, okay? I'm not even in, even in the middle, I'm just out of it, I'm outside of it, let's just put it that way. I am not a King James only this because, because one thing, I don't consider myself anything else other than a true born again Christian. That's it, okay? I believe in the word of God. I believe in the gospel that saved me, okay, which is I confess Jesus as Lord and Savior over my life after I, can, after I repented of my sins, of course. Um, and I also believed in my heart that he rose from the dead on the third day. That is the gospel. Okay, and I received his gift. That's God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Okay, that is what I believe. That is what's mostly important to me. Okay, another thing that's important to me is I believe in the Trinity of God. Okay, I believe God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit are three equal or co equal, co eternal persons within one God. They are different persons, but they're one, but it's one God. Okay. I do believe in the one God. There's no such thing as a three headed God. Okay. There's no such thing as a, a triatheist. Okay. Cause I'm not that I am a, I believe in the Trinity. Okay. I, because the Bible, the concept in itself is in the Bible. Okay. And it may not be the word itself may not specifically be the Trinity, but the concept in, is, is throughout the whole Bible. It's very clear, and anybody that don't believe in that, I have a problem with that. But, you know, like I said, people can believe what they want to believe. Okay, I believe in hell, just like I believe in heaven. I believe that those who never receive Jesus will go to hell. I believe in eternal hell, too. I believe that hell fire and hell damnation is eternal. It's not temporarily. It's not purgatory, like the Catholic Church says, okay? Um, another thing, okay, I believe that... You know, I believe in dispensation because it helps you to understand the Bible better. You know, study to show thyself a proof unto the Lord. Work it needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, okay? According to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, okay? So I do believe in that, okay? So that's in a nutshell. So um, what I want to say is that, you know, I'm, you know, this is really old. This fighting between the King James only this crowd and the non King James crowd, okay? Because all you guys are doing is going back and forth. You're wasting a lot of time and energy and effort, okay? And you're not really preaching the gospel, okay? I'm not saying that you're not saved or you never preach the gospel, but very seldom do I hear you preaching the gospel or proclaiming the gospel on YouTube, okay? And you know, and I figured if you're going to talk about a message or give a message 
you know, anywhere in the Bible. You can talk about anything in the Bible, anywhere in the Bible you get, you know, you, you want to talk about, okay? I believe that all is wrapped around the grace of God, the gospel. Of, of Jesus Christ okay all of it wraps around that the gospel of grace that's what it all wraps around and I believe that you know that you know you should always come around that you know even especially at the end of your message because you know that's why I'm gonna try to make it a point to always come around the gospel always come back to the gospel at the end of my message because then there might be some unsaved people that are listening to my videos so i must you know i should ensure that because that should be my focus right there and i know i'm guilty of not always focusing on the gospel myself okay and i spend an inordinate not amount of time um you know talking about other things that are not as essential okay but my my point is is um all I hear is all I see is you guys arguing. This is just r ridiculous that you're you going back and forth. And I can kind of understand that there may be some problems um, with some of the other versions, the new versions um, of the Bible. Because you know I looked it up myself and I did do some studies. And I, I'm I'm going to stick with the King James version as my backbone. But I am not a King James onlyness. Okay, so please don't put me in that group because I'm not in that group. Um, I'm not here to take sides. I'm, he I'm outside of that. Okay, just like I'm outside of the Calvinist and Arminius crowds because those two groups are fighting for no reason too. And I already proved it to you in my other videos how that is just, you know, to me that that it's a waste of time. It it's nonsense, you know. Okay, and you know, you people need to understand that there's more important issues than going back and forth regarding Bible verses. Okay. Now, I, I mean, I could understand there is problems and I may do some videos on the problems, but you know what? I'm going to move on. I'm not, I'm, I don't want to spend too much time because there's more than enough people on YouTube that is proven King James or disproving King James as being the inspired and errant word of God. Okay. Um, but the idea is, is, you know, I feel that on either side. You know, it's it's okay to give your your point. It's okay to support what you believe in, okay? Because we all have that freedom, okay? This is our freedom. That's what God given us, okay? And I thank God for granting us the free will, giving us the free will, the gift of free will, okay? I, I thank God for that. But I mean, should you move on? When why start a war with one group? I mean, aren't we supposed to all be on the same side here? I mean, Satan is he loves this. And I, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm, I, I don't understand this. I know like a couple of good ministries that don't even use the King James Bible only. They use other versions. Like, you know, and, and then I know some good reference materials out there that are not really based on the King James Version only. Now, there, there are others that are based on the King James only Bible or the King James Bible. But there are some that, that are not, you know, and I saw them and... I read them and I study them and I'll, I'll give those to you in the next video that I'm going to do because then I'm going to talk about some other things too, you know, just some other concerns, you know. But um, anyway, this is what I want to let you know. Um, this is just senseless argument. This this gives you nowhere. Um, we don't need to be starting a war with each other. I mean, this needs to stop, seriously, because this, this warfare, this is of Satan. Satan loves us to fight each other. He loves this crap. And please... Do not draw me into your war. Because let me tell you something. I'm not fighting this stupid war. The war that I'm in is against Satan. It's against evil. It's not against other Christians. Okay? Let's just get that straight. And I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. That's nonsense. It's childish. You need to grow up. Okay? Because this is crazy. Now, I'll, I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching my video.